the one. Sometimes we get just one that's just too sweet. Ones that just very, very spoiled. But in that box, there is one particular chocolate that is perfect in every way. Now, in my 10th speech, I want to talk about a boy. A boy named Joseph. Okay. Joseph, Joseph is a very lonely kid in school where he has no friends. His parents and his mom died. His, parents, his father and his mom died because of an accident. But luckily God, God bless him, he survived the car accident. And to now, and to this day, he mourned over, mourned over the accident that happened. He just wished that, why, why me? Why did I go, that why didn't I be, why didn't I be killed in that car accident? Why wasn't I killed? Why wasn't I killed in that accident? Why just my mom and my father? He just questioned himself so badly. And in place, and in replacement of his parents, he's cruel and very, very, very alcohol, okay, an alcoholic uncle, Mr. Darian, look after him. Where Mr. Darian always complained about his about uh, Joseph, about being bad, a bad kid with bad discipline, and he always punish him by just whipping him with a rattan in any way he, he wants to. In the head, in the thigh, in the butt, and even in a sacred place. But, but on just, the head, on the thigh. On the Not head. in the thigh. In the butt, on the butt. On the, in the, on the head, on the thigh, and on the sacred place. But he, did, he didn't care about where he hit. But one day, but one but, day, one day, he met Thomas. Thomas was a nice guy. He was, uh, he was a top scorer in school. He, um, but he was frankly, frankly, he was, he was, uh, always bullied by, by the seniors in his school. One day, while Thomas was being bullied by his seniors, uh. Joseph came to help him, and uh, Joseph, uh, let uh, Joseph, Joseph, just um, say like fight, fought back the bullies, and luckily uh, the bullies were beaten, and Joseph saved Thomas, and from that point on, they were friends, just friends like you might never see, just like Brett and Kaya. They always mix together. They always taste better. Okay. But, uh, okay. 17 years, 17 years later, Joseph became a contract killer. Okay, does anyone, know, any of you know what is contract killer? Okay. Contract killer is, well, particularly uh, a, a professional hitman where he kills someone and he get mon he gets money. Okay, he is a professional, famous contract killer. He killed many people, corporates, famous people, countless. But he didn't care about what, about what he killed, what whom he killed. He just wanted the money. He never thought about life. He never thought. He never thought about life. But one day, but one day, Joseph had a heart attack. His heart stopped about three minutes. Logically, he was he was assumed dead. But that was not the case. He was not dead. Plus, the doctor examining him, Doctor Noni, said that he was an unusual case. Then, Joseph, because. He knows that God did this something, did something for him. He repented. He tried to repent, but he don't know how. He doesn't know how. 
But first he started by stopping to killing people. Okay. One day, Joseph was just walking around. Just walking around. And then one day he met Thomas. But he didn't know he was Thomas. Thomas said to him, Hey, Joseph, isn't it? Then uh, Thomas said, Oh, yes. Uh, who are you? Thomas. Remember? Your old buddy. Then they met together and then they became close friends. But like always, sooner or later, Thomas, is, Thomas will know Joseph's secret. And luckily, and unfortunately, Thomas was... Thomas was... Uh, Thomas was involved in Joseph's crime where jo Joseph's contractor tried to kill Thomas. They tried to kill Thomas. But Joseph tried to stop his contractor from killing Thomas. He tried various ways. The contractor, White, tried various ways also. He sent hitmen to kill uh, Thomas and jo Joseph. But Joseph, in <coughs> because of his friend, he protected his friend. Because he knows, friends are one in a million. <coughs> friends like Thomas 